Hello developers, welcome back to our channel where we are all about making coding fun and accessible. We have started a new React.js tutorial series. Before we dive head first into the React.js, let's talk about some VS Code extensions for React that will help you a lot in your coding experience. But before we dive in, Remember to share your favorite VS Code extensions for React in the comments below. We are always on the lookout for new tools and insights from this amazing community. I also wanted to take a quick moment to thank all of you who have shown incredible support for my ebook JavaScript A Comprehensive Guide from ES 2015 to ES 2023. Your response has been truly amazing. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, this ebook is your one-stop shop to learn everything JavaScript from ES 2015 to the latest ES 2023 features. It's packed with explanations, examples, and best practices to help you master the language. This ebook is designed for all levels. So whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, you will find value in it. So why wait, grab your copy today from the link in the video description and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more JavaScript content. So let's start with our first extension and that is ESLint. This ESLint is your virtual assistant. It scans your code for errors enforcing coding standards and ensuring a consistent style. It catches those sneaky bugs before they become headaches and keeps your code base tidy. Another very important VS Code extension is Prettier. This one. This Prettier is your code beautifier. It automatically formats your code making it not just functional but visually appealing. There is so much more to ESLint and Prettier. I have already created a detailed video on this. For the deep dive, head over to our dedicated ESLint and Prettier tutorial after watching this video. I highly recommend ESLint and Prettier in your workflow. Now let's look at the next VS Code extension. It is Path Intelligence. This one. Let's close this. This Path Intelligence is like a smart assistant for your file paths. As you type, it anticipates your needs and auto-completing file and directory names and even suggesting relevant paths based on your project structure. Let's install this and see. So let's open any file. Let's say in the main.jsx right here. Now let's suppose here I want to import a component this counter dot jsx so here i will say import counter and you can see it has automatically detected counter component from this counter directory press enter and it has imported it right here how cool is that so with this path intelligence importing components or modules becomes a breeze it speeds up your workflow minimizes errors and ensures correct and efficient import statements. Let's close this. Now let's see our next extension that is JavaScript ES6 code snippets. This one. This extension providing you with essential ES6 JavaScript snippets. It brings a collection of essential code snippets right to your fingertips, saving you time and reducing the need for repetitive typing. Now if I scroll down, you can see it supports JavaScript, TypeScript, React, HTML and Vue also. Here are these snippets it provides. So if I type IMP, it will import entire module. And on type IMN, it imports entire module without the name. Similarly, there are many more snippets. For example, for class helpers, on type pawn it automatically adds constructor and on type met it adds method and so on. So let's open main.jsx 
this one now here if i type imp and press enter you can see it has added the import statement and we can import the modules like this let's say react how cool is that similarly let's suppose imn and now it has added the import without the module name so now here we can import index.css like this similarly let's suppose here i want to use for each loop so here type fre and it will add array for each loop it brings a collection of essential code snippet right to your fingertip saving your time and reducing the need of repetitive typing now let's see our next extension so let's close this our next extension is simple react snippet this extension offers lightning fast snippet for creating components handling states props and integrating hooks all designed to streamline your react workflow let's install this and see now it is installed let's see its example so let's go back to main.jsx here let's remove all of these now let's suppose here i want to import react so i will say imr it has imported the react from the react library similarly let's remove this now here if i type imrc now this time it will import react and component from the react library similarly if i type here ccc it will create a class based component with constructor renderer let's name it anything let's say main let's remove this and here we can return div hello similarly in the constructor if i need to add a state we can type ss it has inserted this this dot set state and we can add anything here now let's suppose if i want to create a functional component then i will type ffc and now it will add function component and let's return dave hello similarly if i need to add stateless functional component i will just type sfc it will create stateless functional in the extension page scroll down we can see it provides all these snippets for react now let's see another extension so let's close this and our next extension is turbo console log here it has shown so many extension with the same name turbo console log and same icon i use this one it has near about 1 million downloads so what is the use of this extension imagine you are trying to figure out why your code isn't working and you are using lots of console log messages in your code turbo console log allows you to generate console log statements instantly with a simple shortcut let's see so let's install this now let's open the app.jsx here let's suppose we want to console log this display so select this and press control alt l and immediately it has generated this console log for us but here the cool part is that turbo console log is smart it helps you by suggesting what to log you don't have to remember long names it has automatically added this app the component name and the variable name display and then log the display variable now let's suppose in this same file you have added the console log in multiple places let's add this console log on random places so let's say right here right here right here and right here also now we have multiple console logs now you want to comment all of these at once you don't have to go to each line and comment this one by one like this instead you can comment all of these with one keyboard shortcut for example first let's undo this and to comment all the console log in the keyboard you need to press alt shift c and it is going to comment all the console logs at once similarly let's suppose you want to delete all the console logs so press alt shift t and it is going to remove all the console logs it is going to save you a lot of time let's close this there are some more useful vs code extensions 
that are going to boost your productivity. I have already covered this in my previous videos on front-end VS Code extensions. I highly recommend you to watch that also. Now let's suppose you want to register your own code snippets in the VS Code. So you don't have to type out the same line over and over. So let's suppose you want to add a snippet to create React function component. So to add snippet from the keyboard press Ctrl Shift P. If you are Mac user then press Command Shift P and search for configure user snippet. And we are looking for this one snippets configure user snippets. Now let's click this. Now here we need to select the programming language where we want to create snippet. In our case, I want for React. So here we will search for JavaScript React.json. Here this is the first one JavaScript React.json. So let's open this. Here it has given the example how to add snippet. So here this dollar one and dollar two are the tab stops. So when the snippet is created, the cursor will be at this point dollar one and on press tab it will going to navigate to dollar two. So let's create our own snippet. So let's remove all of these and here here I am going to add this one. So this snippet is to create react function component. The first option is the scope. It is going to run in the JavaScript react and TypeScript files and the prefix is the RFC. So if I type RFC, it is going to insert this snippet. So when component is going to be inserted, our cursor point is going to be right here and on press tab, it is going to reach right here. And then finally on tab, it is going to reach here. Let's see. So let's open the app.js. Now here I am going to type this prefix RFC. So RFC and immediately it has suggested this react function component and on press enter here it has created this function component. Our cursor is right here for the name. Let's say app and then props. We can remove this and on press tab it reached in the return statement. Similar like that you can add more snippets right here. So this is all in this video. In the upcoming videos we will explore the react fundamentals and please like and share this video if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.